Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this really cool, I don't know if it's a font. Surely it's not a font. Somebody created this dog shape. And they wanted to change this to an interactive fill, which is easy enough. They wanted to go from that light blue to a darker blue. So I'd always start at the right there and kind of go past the letter. Then you all you have to do is just kind of go over here and hit that. And if that's too dark, you can always bring that up more. But then they wanted to put on a black background, uh, the shape of the letter, and that's easily done. Uh, matter of fact, to kind of make it maybe more simple, I'm gonna, let's see how this is, a, I don't know anything about millimeters, so it's 39 millimeters. We'll change our millimeters to 45. We're gonna make a duplicate of this, and control D and put it up. And then we're gonna take away the fill with left click, right click the outline. And it's all grouped together so it should contour. So we'll go to effects and contour. There again, I don't know anything about millimeters, but I'm gonna use four millimeters and rounded corners. And there we have that. Go to object, break contour apart. Now this time I'm gonna nudge the contour up or down. I must've moved something. Let's back up here. I must have moved that letter because it doesn't fit back. Yeah. So when I made a copy control, well, their file, that's why you always want this set on zero, zero. So control D and make a duplicate and move it up twice. Left click, right click, effects, contour we've already got open, four millimeters, rounded corners, hit apply. Go to object, break contour apart. And this time we're gonna nudge it down a couple of times because there's a part of the letter that's in there. So if you'll go here, go to object, break curve apart, come from the outside and grab that one little hoop. And then you could actually make this black if you selected both of them at the same time. And then let's actually move our logo down and Go to object, order, front of page. So now you have that shading effect with the interactive fill tool on a black. And you don't have to make it four millimeters. You can make it three or two. Just see whatever you like the best. You do want them joining together. You know, if we don't do enough, let's go one millimeter. If you don't do enough, they're not going to join together. So we can go... Let's see what it's two millimeters looks like. And that would work because that kind of joins them all together and there's no lines up between there. Now to look one more time, break the contour apart, move that contour out of the way. And now you've got, you know, the letters of the O and everything just go up to object, break the curve apart. And then this time when you select the outside, it'll just nudge up without that trash in it. Well, it's not really trash, but it's the inner part of that letter, all this stuff. There were six objects there. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's what they were looking for. I'd actually go from light down maybe now because you can see the dog's head better. And that's very easily done just by interactive fill tool, bring this thing back and change your colors out, put the, the light blue up here with the dark blue, it, it well, it's pre-selecting it for me. Let's go uh, get the light blue and put it up to the top. I don't know why it's doing that. And then select the other blue and you can always select. That's a little irritating. I don't know why it's doing that. I've never seen that happen before and then select on that and make this the dark blue. There you go. And now the, the um, dog's head kind of sticks out a little bit more. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.